Okay guys, for this tutorial, this is another low level area where you can farm uh, certain items. On this one, there's plenty of screws and gears and steel and a lot of wood. As you can see, it's a, a lumber company, so there's a lot of wood piles around. If you need wood, this is a good place to go. You have a lot of low level uh, mutants here, so it's fairly easy to take them down and uh, get the stuff that you need. Also, I'm going to show you in a second, there's a, a place here that you can pick up power armor uh, on occasion. But let's get started. We got, and this is one place right here. It says loose screws. There's eight of them. It's always eight whenever this box is here. So it's not a random thing. It's a it's a set spawn. Uh, generally on this shelf, right up here, there's a typewriter. Uh, it hasn't been 24 hours since I've been here. So I already got that one. Uh, but there's always, whenever you come in here, there's always... Uh, typewriter up there as long as you let the server reset there's also across the hall a typewriter right here and in this corner you have some aluminum scrap uh, and a blowtorch which gives you some oil toy rocket ship is plastic alarm clock is screws Yes. And, freeze jug. and right here, uh, from time to time, you'll have a suit of power armor. Uh, I've never seen two sets, but I've been told that there's two sets here. Loose gears, they are laying around here and there. There's usually a loose gear on top of this file cabinet, too. Um, let's see. Got the cutting board combination wrenches they are part lead part steel so I always usually pick them up and also don't worry about becoming over encumbered here there are three workbenches here so you have plenty of time to get rid of all the stuff that you collected um, I go ahead and for all the guys that I've taken out I go ahead and pick up all their stuff and carry it around and scrap it so that I uh, get the extra materials from them. There's generally some kind of melee weapon on this shelf. Let me see what it is. It's a machete today. Uh, sometimes it's a sickle, sometimes it's a baseball bat. Just depends on what's in there. Toolkit, wood piles everywhere. There's a lot of them. Go over to the shelf. Canisters. Aluminum cans. Office fan, that's some screw. That's a screw. Uh, coolant cap, that's aluminum. I don't need the rest of that. Generally, when you come in here, there is a stem pack right here and a few tools on the desk, too. Of course, you know all the mutants carry caps. So, low level, this is a way to, to get your caps up. It's kind of grindy, but if you can take them out with one shot or two shots, then uh, it's still worth it. Always check the dumpsters. All right. Now, there's generally two or three mutants over here. They all have caps on them and hunting rifles mostly and things of that nature. But the main boss is right up these stairs and inside this building. He has an automatic pistol. So... And also some of the mutants carry screws too. Like I said, I usually pick up all of their 
weapons as I go. Because I got plenty of... There he is. Short automatic pipe rifle. Tool chest. Also, you have two opportunities. Oh, nuka tapper. Cool. Take game tool. All right. Again, here's another workbench. Of course, you know the power armor stations count as a workbench too when you're scrapping items. But uh, we'll go up here. Here's another typewriter. That's the third one. There's generally, yep, a laser rifle up here. And there's almost always, if you haven't been here in 24 hours, there's a frag grenade laying right there. I don't generally pick up beer bottles. I don't use a lot of glass, so. But if you need it, they're in here too. Now sometimes when you come to this desk, there'll be a cap stash on the desk right here. Um, there's generally, genu generally a pin on the desk here, which is a spring. Excuse me. Ugh. Still fighting this head to chest cold. In this corner is, is safe. When you open it, there's generally other. There's uh, usually a bunch of ammo and pre war money and stuff in there. But all along the outsides of these places are stacks of wood. You see them everywhere. And if you are looking to get wood, Make sure you put your wood chucker uh, perk on before you come out here because you're definitely going to pick up plenty of wood. You'll probably pick up enough wood for two or three people. Stay here too long, though. These guys will regen. All right, there's another stim pack. It's usually a static spawn right there. Uh, I cleared out that tool chest yesterday. I always check the meat bags. There is a possum pack. Uh, yeah possum badge I'm trying to get right now for a leather worker and every once in a while you'll find a death claw hide in them it's not very often but it is every once in a while Citizens, nuclear strike imminent. The team I'm on just exit the area at your started a nuclear strike. Thank you for your cooperation. I've been trying to get that quest done for a while. See, it's always good to join a team. Anyway, uh, up here you got, you know, some mintats, loose gears, aluminum, aluminum. Over here is one of the two places you get a fusion core. Of course, telephones have circuits and copper in them. Um, lead pipe, that's always good. Again, another workbench for you to break your stuff down. I'm going to go back and get another fusion core in just a second because I forgot it. But there's lockers down here. That's oil or acid or something. That's just cloth. But yeah, cooler here. You also got a lot of static, like these hard hats are here all the time. Unless you pick them up. This first aid box is here. 
always use your pharma pharma perk because you never know when you're going to need stem packs and you pick up quite a few of them around here uh, let's go back I forgot to show you the underground level of this place up here did everything but the downstairs you get to the downstairs over here and in this area is guess what another fusion core again this only resets once a week so and fusion cores are kind of heavy I don't need no stranger ammo over on this desk there's always a thing of loose screws and these eyeglasses and this pencil up here there's generally a roll of duct tape and in this cabinet there's usually always a roll of duct tape also now you notice I don't pick up everything everything that's just because I don't need it right now but uh, when you're in the early stages of the game you need a lot of everything so this gives you a little bit of that a little bit of this before yeah I guess there's the first time for everything now in here of course there's another first aid box but sometimes down on the side of this file cabinet you know, the first aid box in the file cabinet has got usually something in it too but right over here in the corner you'll find bobbleheads so make sure you look here for bobbleheads while you're running around and these generally got something in it too but that will pretty much clear out this area if you have any questions please post them in the comments give me a like and a subscribe i would appreciate it and hopefully we'll see you next time all right take it easy